Topic two. A little bit of that Metal Gear action. Oh, all right. Yeah. So there's been a lot going on with Kojima and Konami and all this stuff for the last friends. couple of months. We've talked about this ad nauseum. Had a lot of, we did some kind of funny reacts on it. Colin did a really, really, really amazing piece on it that uh, if you haven't checked out, you definitely should over on YouTube.com slash kind of funny games. And um, now the, the, just the, the story continues. Sure. And I feel like this might be like one of the, the final things that could possibly happen with this whole, you know, hubba boo boo of um, Kojima's name being taken off of the box art right. of Metal Gear Solid right. 5. What are you guys' thoughts on this? I was surprised anybody was surprised by it. I thought with this, I thought people had it, their expectations set that this is what was happening, right? This all. If you remember our first like canary in the coal mine that something was wrong was when they started removing his name from the websites and the posters that were up in stores for promotion. His own here. studio. Yeah, exactly. That was like, well, that was like the <laughs> that was like the flare in the night. But yeah, that you know, so I, you knew this was bad, and you uh, this is where it's been. It seems like going. So for mm-hmm. it to come out and then people would be so surprised, it didn't say a Hideo Kojima game at the top, and it didn't have the Kojima Productions logo down the corner. I was like, I didn't know what you were expecting. Like, this is bad. It has been a bad breakup. They are in a very, very bad breakup. And as much as they dance around it in terms of Konami statements or whatever, or Kojima, you know, not even having one statement and then never addressing it again, like. You can read between the lines that shit's mm-hmm. gone south, and yeah. it sucks, and it really, really, really sucks. You know what I mean? Because you figure, from what I've played of it at that two-day event, like, this is the magnum opus. This is, like, the Metal Gear game he's probably always wanted to make. It's, you know, X times bigger than this and that and the other, and da 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 And it's like, now it's, com- I'm sure for him, it's this, he, I, I, I've seen a lot of gamers commenting about this and talking to me about it on Twitter of, like, they feel torn of, this is a shitty fucking move by Konami, but they're still excited for the game. So do they buy the game and support Konami and still support Kojima? Or what? like it's like Kojima can't be like, I love this game. Everyone go buy it you because know, he does love the game. But he also it's this weird, totally fucked up situation, right? Of how do you yeah. even voice your anger about this without screwing over him? You know what I mean? Like it comes mm-hmm. down to him at the end of the day in terms of like why people are offended right now and going forward what it means. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It'd be awesome to say. You always talk about speak with your wallets. Like what do you do? You still want to buy this game because it's still his game even if they've removed his name and I'm sure it's all screwed up on the inside. You know what I mean? I can't well, wait. I mean that that's my thing is like do you the last final straw and I don't know if they've confirmed this one way or the other but in game. Yeah. Like is his name all over the place like it normally is or yeah. Are they just kind of scaling that back a bit, or is it gone? Yeah, those are the questions. Like that's why I'm so anxious to get a final copy of that game and yeah. see what exactly it looks like. You know what I mean? How? Because everything begins with credits. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every one of the story missions opens like a TV episode with credits rolling. Oh, of, really? Yeah. Of like, cr- like every mission. Yeah, every story mission, not mm-hmm. just like side ops, but like a main op o- opens and it says, you know, written directed by Hideo Kojima, da da da. But we were told when we played, like that's going to change. This is going. This isn't the final game. In that, obviously, things have happened. Things are going to change. But it wasn't like a line. Know, but edit. that was told to you in the context of this stuff going on, or just in the context of the game being developed. In the context of the stuff going on, that okay. things are going to change. Hmm. Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, what are your thoughts on the whole like the boycott situation? It's tough. I agree. This reminds me most of affinity to sports teams. What I mean by that is. I was I'm an Islanders fan for a long time. We had a really bad general management. We were an awful team. And the idea was like, well, what do you do about it? Do you do you stop going to games and stop buying merch and then they have yep. less money and then the team becomes fucking worse and then they become more relevant and then they can't hire like it's a, it's tough. You know, like sometimes people like I'm loyal to the Islanders and the Jets regardless. So people are just loyal to that franchise. But I don't I don't think they give a fuck about Konami any more than I gave a fuck about uh, Woody Johnson who owns the Jets. Like, I don't care about him. You know, yeah. like he's I'm sure he's a very nice man or whatever, but I'm not I'm not I don't care if he didn't own the team. Someone else would own the team and they would still yeah. exist. And so I think that that's the best analogy I can I can give is that like you're it's a, it's a, it's the perfect catch twenty two it's the same thing of like when people go to games with fucking paper bags over their heads and they're like well they're still there and you're still paying them uh, like you know it's like how do you voice that you're not what? happy with these people decisions. do that yeah like it's always like people put like gar- like uh, uh, brown pit bags from like supermarkets over their heads and like cut aisle holes it's like to, it's to show like an emba- you're embarrassed to be a fan of this team or whatever you're still like you want them to be better it's like, it's a, mm. it's an old very old symbol in sports and it's, it's been done for decades and decades. Um, so that's like the best analogy I can come up with is that like there's a there's always gonna be an internal conflict between things that are associated with each other. You know, I love the Jets because I love the organization, I love the players, but I don't necessarily love the coaches. I don't necessarily love the owners. It's mm-hmm. so where does Kojima fit into that then? So so to me, it's like it's tough because the owner is like Konami and Kojima is like the fucking baseball manager that you love, but they're gonna fire him at the end of the year and you know it. 
you know, but do you go to the last game anyway? And you know that that money's not going to him, but you want to kind of support him and see it. You want to see what it's going to be. I think it's a, it's actually a pretty spot on analogy, like in the yeah. sense that it's like, what's this is a shitty situation. And the way I put it, I was talking to some people on Twitter. Alexa Ray from from Gamespot was one of them, and I was just like, the, the, "Here's the thing: Kojima is going to be very relevant after this. Konami, not so much. And Konami will be fine because, the, as people know, we've talked about again ad nauseum is they're so much more than a games developer and a games publisher. They just they like they could not do that anymore and be fine. They'll they'll exist. Um, they're not like you know Deep Silver or something that just that they're just a game publisher. But it's. Konami has burned such goodwill with so many different people over the last year and a half with both Castlevania first and now especially with Metal Gear, which I think is fucking way worse for them, that it says a lot about the quality of the game and the caliber of Kojima that people are still interested in it. Because I think if it was a more of a run-of-the-mill game and people saw one of their beloved... Um, What's a good example? Like, like the way Inafune was treated by Capcom. Like, people were fucking furious about that. Yeah. Like, people were really upset about that. And I think Capcom did pay a financial price for it. Um, but the fact that Konami is not going to pay a financial price for it, I understand. I'm not one of these people that's going to be like, you shouldn't buy Metal Gear Solid 5 because Konami is. It's like, fuck that. Like, mm -hmm. I know you're excited about it. My whole personal opinion on it is that I could give a fuck and a half less about that game right now. What I want to know is what the fuck happened. Sure. You know, like, and if someone was like, you can either play Metal Gear Solid 5 or find out what happened, I'd be like, I'll find out what happened. I don't ever have to see that game. Like, I am so intrigued. It's the same thing with The Last Guardian. I, I want to know what happened. Something awful happened. And no one like, knows what it is. It's, it can't just be like a thing of like, oh, we had disagreements. No, something bad happened. Clearly. You I know? mean, what, what could it have been? Is there any, like, idea? Budgets, M rights. Money. It's yeah, got to be money. Salaries, back-end points. Like, there's a million. Uh, you have to imagine it comes down to something like he, Kojima wanted more money. He wasn't, you know what I mean? I, I, and it's not that, that that's wrong, right? When you look yeah, at no, how, much the, you know, how much this franchise means to Konami. Konami doesn't want to give it. But then even, like, it seems like... I can't imagine that it was one event. It wasn't one nuclear bomb moment. It was building, 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 and then there was like this release of whatever of how, you know what I mean of how this was dealt with, and you have no idea. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're in this situation. I honestly think it's funny because the way it's gone down, right, is they've. And I think, I think if, if you talk to people in the video game industry, most respect Hideo Kojima, right? This has made him a folk hero. He is going to leave. And he is going to make this game that is going to get nines and tens from what I played, right? It'll be in the running for game of the year, I'm sure, for a lot of sites and win a lot of things from different people. And the story surrounding it, it's this great game and it's an amazing thing. And they totally fucked the creator and tried to whitewash his name out. And now we're saying his name more than ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, uh, people are talking about him more than ever. And like Colin's saying, there's... Tons of people out there who don't give a flying fuck about Metal Gear The Phantom Pain. We're never going to play it, but now they know a whole bunch about it. Yeah. Then they know Kojima's involved. And this it's like it's going to be this, I think, amazing swan song to this career with K Konami, right? Yeah. Making this fr is swan song to Konami, to Metal Gear, to everything he's done, the Fox engine mm -hmm. that we've heard about for years and years and years. It's going to be this thing where it's like, I bet he comes out to... It'll be one of those things I bet at... I can, You can envision it right now at... The video game awards or the game awards this year, the Jeff Keighley thing, right? Like, it's already announced that he's gone, as you imagine. As soon as this game comes out, two, three weeks from then, there's an he, Kojima can finally say, "Hey, I'm gone," or whatever. Maybe it's a month. You know what I mean? But his first public appearance, whether it be at E3, whether it be at the game, I mean, it's going to be raucous applause and standing ovation. Yeah, like this guy is a fucking hero right now, and you don't even know what's happening. We he maybe he was a total dick. Maybe yeah, it was a, seriously. I mean, maybe that could have been it. Asshole to Konami, you know what I mean? But the way Konami has played this publicly, they look like such jerks. Yeah, yeah. and that's the thing is that I, I don't. Again, it's all conjecture. We don't know. We're yeah, not going to we, know for we a while. No we idea. will know. But I, I, uh, I'm confident in that we will know. Yeah. I'm sure he's bound by his contract. He hasn't said anything. He hasn't said a fucking word. Yeah. About anything. Um, and I'm sure that they are not going to put him on the press. You know, fuck tour. no, no. Well, like, yeah. So because you know he's just going to fucking blow up. So, um. But I, mean, I don't think it was coincidence he wasn't at E3. No, like, no it I'm, wasn't like because he's working hard on the game. It's because Konami, I'm sure, was like, no, nah, we're worry just about not it. gonna have yeah, you yeah. there. Yeah, the games. I'm I'm sure the game's been done for a while. I think they're probably polishing and and getting ready for insert or going in. They're probably insert. Um, but to me, the way Konami's dealt with it, and again, not knowing anything factually about it, but just kind of reading into it, is that it was 
something big and yeah. and it could have been yeah a, a bunch of you know little it could have been a, hu- a bunch of you know 100 stabs or it could have been a fucking bullet wound you know, well, the I think head. There, there was a straw yeah. that broke this right. camel's back for sure but something definitely went wrong between them and my 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 assumption is that this game took way too long to make and it was way too expensive and, and that was probably it my, my my assumption this game has been developed forever you know yeah. like I, I like a really long time so i i don't i i would understand why konami would get mad at that here's the fucking fallacy in konami's thinking though and they've done it now twice is that they remove Igarashi, or Igarashi leaves, and leaves, we don't really know what happened there, but they think they can do Castlevania without the man who was associated with it and produced it and was the visionary behind it for like 15 or 20 years, yeah. Koji Igarashi, and, they came, and, and Castlevania ended up being just shit upon, right? And now they think that they're going to create Metal Gear games without, Ko, without uh, Kojima and that people are going to fucking allow that to happen uh, on a commercial level, on a critical success level, and those are big fucking shoes to fill. I think they are delusional. Mm-hmm. You know? That's, um, that's, they, they are delusional with they were delusional with Castlevania and it blew up in their faces. Yeah. And now they're gonna be delusional with Metal Gear. And it's it's you can't have Metal Gear without Kojima. It's not possible. Like I don't I don't understand how he is he has been there the entire time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Since the very since the eighties. Everyone thinks it started with Metal Gear Solid. It started with Metal Gear on MSX and that and he was there for that. Yeah. You can't just it's, you can't it, just walk away from that. We legacy. always talk about like you know Konami talking about their you know restructuring and moving away from consoles and everything. And I, we still go with that thing that that's fine and that's all well and good. But if that doesn't pan out or Metal Gear Grounds or Phantom Pain sells gajillions of copies, they're going to start thinking about well you know at some point either we need to go back and make that easy money or fuck it we'll do another one and we'll that's, annualize Metal Gear. That's when people can actually stand up and be like well fuck well, no fuck this shit. yeah that's yeah. the one I mean because like right now I, there's no. There's no easy way to punish Konami for the way they're handling yeah. this. Buy the game because this guy, this is the culmination of, like you're saying, all this man's career. And that, from that's the, 80s. the way I see it. Is it's just like you know, not buying it isn't really gonna hurt Konami that much. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, because there's gonna be so many people. It's just it's such a it's a not a united front of a boycott. On the other hand, doing that is hurting the creator of this game. It's like I'm sure he wants the money, and I'm sure like it sucks that we can't just buy it from him and have him get the money because I'm yeah, sure yeah. people would want to do that. But that's not how business works, and that's not how things are. But it's like as a creator, like we are creators, we know this. Like we want, if we did something that we believe is the best thing we've ever done, we would want as many people to be a part of it as possible. Like yeah. I'm sure that he wants this game to be played by everyone. I'm sure that if the quality of the game is as high as you say that it is and um, that he feels that way, that he wants everyone to experience it and let it speak for itself in just the sense of like, this is an amazing game. This game might win Game of the Year awards. It's going to be talked about for decades. As, you know, all this stuff. Like, the way we talk about Metal Gear Solid 3 or Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear Solid, you know, all, yeah, of, all yeah. of them really, um, except for 4, but I like 4 a lot. Um, but that's the thing is, like, it's, it's silly to me to think of, about not buying this game to like say fuck you to someone yeah. because really everyone that cares about uh, Kojima needs to play this game. You know, needs to yeah. talk about this game and needs to talk about why they liked it and it's not because of Konami. You know, right? And that's unfair to say too because I'm sure like there's a, it's not they, just Kojima. They it's paid not, the tickets. Yeah, you know, like they, they made they pay, it happen. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. whether and that's why this it's so weird to get yeah. in the middle of somebody else's breakup like this, right? Like. Your friends are splitting up, and one's being publicly weird about it, but the other's being silent. So it's like, well, how do you don't even know what happened? No one's telling you exactly what happened. You're like, I don't know what to do with any of this information. Yeah, I think that's the thing is that that was the calculation. They, Konami knew they're not stupid. They they knew that they have everyone by the balls. What are you going to do? We own the game, we own the IP, and you're going to buy it. So. You know, this might affect one percent of sales or something. If that, I don't think so. I think no. it's actually going to increase the game sales from the more organic nature it was going to have have to begin with. I think it was all calculated. Again, they're not stupid; they're delusional, and they're not hurting themselves now. They're hurting themselves later. You know, mm-hmm. as was shown with Bloodstain when Ega showed, you know, revealed Bloodstain. It's not about the fucking name. Castlevania isn't the isn't doesn't matter. Metal Gear doesn't matter. It's the fucking people behind it. You know, that make the game what it is. You can stamp Castlevania or Metal Gear on fucking anything. It doesn't make it a Castlevania game or a Metal Gear game. The next Metal Gear game after this is going to be by Kojima at another publisher for someone else with mm-hmm. his own studio. And th- they've already said that they're going to continue Metal Gear without him, you know, in, like, in the AAA space. And what's going to be funny about that is that when he fucking leaves and gets his, his inevitable millions of dollar offer from every fucking publisher under the sun is he's going to take everyone with him. Who the fuck's going to make the game? You know? Yeah. Like... 
you could look at it in a way of like we talk about with Star Wars, where it's finally in a good place because it's the people that understand Star Wars and and it's the people that grew up playing it and enjoying it or watching it and enjoying it, and so they understand it and it's in good hands. But and you could find the same thing about Metal Gear. I'm sure there's people that are fans or, or in the industry that can treat Metal Gear with care. It's just it's just it's not quite the same. You're gonna be in that shadow forever, and when you're in that mm. shadow, Konami looks bad. They yep. look evil, right? Mm-hmm. That they took this mm-hmm. away and drove him away, and this is what it is. And so, yeah, it's a no. And it's also just like. A Metal Gear game without Kojima isn't a Metal Gear game. Like Revengeance came out, right? And it was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's a cool action game, but I don't, I but don't like action Metal games. Gear. Like I won't play that. I'm not gonna it, play yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. To me, it's it's they've Konami's never been, uh, you know, uh, good at PR, and they their silence is very loud with this. They don't say anything. They haven't said a, a word really about what the hell is going on. Like there, there's a million different ways you could spin the PR. To make it better for you. And the fact that they don't even want to do that says it all to me. It's like they just, the bridges have been burned. We're going to find out what happened when Kana, when Kojima is able to talk. And he will talk, you know, um, whether it, whether yeah. it's after the game comes out or whatever. It's the same thing with Inafune. Inafune fucking left. And then a few months later, he just said everything he needed to say. You know, mm-hmm. Iga said everything he needed to say. Yeah. Um, the, Kojima is going to be no different. The exception, the the you know, even though I love those guys more than I love Kojima, the, the thing is that Kojima is way bigger, and he's what he's going to say has way more resonance, and it's not going to be about the nature of Japanese games or the nature of publishing games or anything like that. It's going to be the nature of what the fuck Konami, ha- what happened to Konami, and that's what's so sad to me as as someone who grew up as an NES gamer and you know an SNES gamer is that Konami has fallen from grace in such a tragic and significant way. They were responsible for a lot of awesome games back in the day, and um, they are just a shadow of them for their former selves and it's so sad to watch it happen i wish that they would just give some of these ip to someone else and just fucking go away you know like i like who could treat castlevania and contra and metal gear with care and just yeah. fucking leave you know? i mean that, that's <laughs> such a weird thing like that like what you just said sounds so negative and it sounds so like just mean really where it's just like just fucking stop we don't like you is what it sounds like and it's like i don't like that that's the feeling we all have that the, these people that have created metal gear solid which is one of my favorite franchises of all time like it's weird the way i feel going into five hearing all this stuff doesn't make me feel good it makes me feel super mean-spirited and like super like fuck you about stuff instead of thank you for allowing this game to happen which is how i felt for so long you know and it's the thing about it it's hard yeah on top of like just what's happening with kojima is that it's being paired with the announcement of konami i feel like saying like we're done with console games like we're mo- that's not our focus. We're not we're going forward. We're taking our foot off that gas. So it's almost like you already know they're leaving. They're already ejecting out of mm-hmm. the realm I deal with Konami in, right? Like, when am I going to talk to them about their pachinko machines. pachinko machines and stuff like that? And I'm not insulting that business. It's yeah, just not it's my not. business. So it's like it's the thumb in the eye over this Metal Gear stuff, and it's also the flick of the cigarette at you of like, fuck it, I don't, we're just out of here anyway. So what does it matter? Patch work. And you have to, and you have to understand that the, re- the reason why I sound mean or like personal is because they've done, they already did this with another franchise and another creator, and, well, and it's yeah, like this is sure. this is this has already happened. Mm-hmm. You know why are they doing this? Yeah. You know, like why are they doing this? And and that's that's the big question I have. And of course, it's dollars and cents, and that makes sense to me, but. You know, it just sucks that it has to be. It has to be this way, and it's, all, it's a timing thing. I mean, like the the reason I feel so weird is it's before the game's out. Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. mo- like this happened months before the game came out. There was an E three that Metal Gear stuff happened, and it felt weird. You yeah, know, this was it a was weird, weird E3. having Kojima not there. It was weird not seeing Metal Gear on one of the 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 conferences. And it's like, yeah, we've seen it before, so maybe it didn't necessarily need to be there, but. It's got to be tied Metal to this, Metal Gear though, Solid right? Five. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, how was that? How did that trailer not debut on the PlayStation? Yeah, the stage have a live demo or something. And it's like that's weird, and it, it all feels wrong. It feels dirty, and it, it just feels. It makes us not feel good about what we love. Yeah, and I don't like that. I don't yeah. like that one bit. Yeah, it's not. It's not personal on a level of like we're going to judge the game based on the way we feel about the publisher. But of course, it's not personal in that way. It's personal because we're gamers and we have ownership in some way over these franchises. And Konami's gotten thousands of dollars from me. You know, mm-hmm. like it's. I bought every fucking Castlevania game, every one of them, basically. You know, like I, I. You know, Metal Gear was a you know Zone of the Enders, like Contra, lots of you know Blades of Steel. There's a fucking million games that. You know, I loved growing up that were theirs. And so it's it's personal on that level where it's like, what are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Why why are you allowing this to happen to your legacy and to 
to the great games and the great creators that helped you make these games. And why are you making these weird decisions? Even if it's a financial way, there's a more elegant way to do it. Mm -hmm. If you want to get out of it or you don't want, you, there's an elegant way to handle this. It should have never been handled like this. The Igarashi situation was much more behind closed doors, but you know, clearly they just locked them away and fucking wouldn't let him make any games that he wanted to make. And then, um, you know, with this situation, it's just like, you know, again, the Igarashi situation is all anecdotal, and so is this. It's just it, because we still have not heard from the horse's mouth himself about what the hell happened. But that's why it's that's why it's it's it sounds mean spirited, and it's and it's like the way I put it is way nicer than a lot of people are fucking putting. Yeah, no, no, no like I, the, I'm the, not the, saying that you're being mean. I'm saying no, that it's like no, it's, I know that, but I'm saying like there are some people that are like ent to the nth degree fucking upset about this on big outlets, mm -hmm. and and I understand because it's it's a it's a fucking meltdown. You know, it's a total meltdown, and it's a shitty situation that sh it. It like we're talking about, you know, we're throwing on like you know Konami and like we, what they're doing and stuff, and really like how many people there are making those decisions and doing those things, right? There's so many people who work at Konami and probably are fucking Kojima fanboys and, and they girls. hate what's going on for themselves. Exactly, and you know? it's like, what do you do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is just so messy right now. It's yeah. exactly what you talk about, right? Like, you feel gross having to deal with it, right? We just want to fucking talk about this awesome video game mm -hmm. and Diamond Dogs yeah. and Didi. You know what I mean? There's so much good Didi. fucking shit to talk about that game. Mm -hmm. But it's so weird when when you go and when you want to play the game and they're like, oh, this is going to change and things are going to be removed and stuff. It's like, why? What could he have possibly done? Mm -hmm. Like, and that's why that's why I'm not. And to your point, like, I'm not wholly convinced that he's not responsible for this problem. But still, it's just an. It, it seems. But yeah, there's a level of immature. Done? There's a level of immaturity about right, the way it's for being sure. Handled. I mean, now having said that, there's not many directors of movies that their name gets put on the poster. Like, huge. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, there's not many games that have... Like, is there any game besides Kojima? Sid Meier. Oh, Sid Meier and, like... Uh I mean, not even Tom Clancy, just, but I think just his name. Dialing there, back, dialing you know? back. I want to go back to movies because there are plenty of movies that get promoted that way from the creator of The Walking Dead or whatever in the trailer, and then it'll say that on the poster and stuff too. But yeah. I mean, but I think that's a little bit different though. Like that's less about the director and more about you liked this thing, you'll like this thing. Mm. It's not so much the name, yeah. you know. But there are, I mean, no, Quentin there are, Tarantino. There, you know what I mean? There are, but there's not. When you think about how many movies are being made, sure. all this stuff, there is only. A couple guys, right. right? When you think of the games and games, it's smaller than movies, and there's only a couple guys the mainstream even knows, right? You yeah. got the Miyamoto, you got Kojima. There's not many others. I know, you I'm know, with like you. I'm just saying, but I think like, as, as small as that that, that pool you want to make, Kojima's in it. Well, Kojima is the dude. Like, yeah, I think he is the only one that I can think of that that I can really remember games where besides Sid Meier, but it's like his name's just all over that game. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and. For him, for his name not to be on the box, it's one of those things where for it to be taken off is like that sounds immature and that's bad. Did it, did his name need to be on the box in the first place? I mean, tradition says yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's his thing. We do all love this game because it's his game. But it's like I don't think his name being on the box is that big of a deal to begin with. But the fact that it was there and it was taken away, the way it's being done, yeah. dirty is what is why it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. if if they would have if they would have released the first shot of yep. posters and material and screen, and it didn't say a Hideo Kojima game, Fox yeah. or Fox Engine, right by uh, Kojima Studios, different story. Mm -hmm. But now that they're like subtly erasing this stuff and acting like you won't notice or that yeah. it shouldn't matter, that's the weird part. Yeah, I mean it. It is weird because really, who is that sending what message to? Like, what's the point? And that's what I'm saying about the folk hero, man. Like, I think it's he is going to be like we're, we're talking like uh, just the way it was all presented. Konami looks bad and he looks good. And whether maybe we're gonna find out that yeah, he fucking punched somebody at Konami, said he was bigger than this whole fucking publisher himself, and he was a total dick and diva about it. And but like, oh fuck. We read this one wrong, but like, yeah, it doesn't matter for now because this mm -hmm. is what's happening, and like, the game's gonna come out and it's gonna be great, and he's gonna. Everyone who, everyone who play was gonna play Metal Gear and knew that Kojima was behind it was gonna have known it, whether the name was on the box or not. And if the name wasn't on the box and you didn't notice or care, then you just that person. Mm -hmm. But now it's one of those things. Yeah, that if you don't even care about the Metal Gear franchise, you're well aware of what's happening. This is yeah. like, and that it, it also killed PT and it also did this and it's all you know yeah. what I mean. Like, oh yeah, Silent Hills. I totally that's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's like I totally haven't even thought about that. Yeah, it's unbelievable. What the hell is going on over there? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Hey, here's this thing that you all fucking love. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And like, yeah, now it's all fucked up. Fucking A, dude. Yeah. That makes it even worse.